Sounds crazy. How long has this been going on? Ever since the funeral. I could have sworn I heard his voice ever so faintly through the rain.
you think he's trying to tell you? To wait for him. Wait for what? I don't know. Perhaps he's jealous of Isaac. The doctor? Should David be jealous? It was that very same day when Isaac first put his arm around me. Moonlight madness, frail reality. Eyes to see, but I believe you'll come back to me. Why such cold and forgiving? I hate to see you be bereft. Those of us who are still living mustn't forsake what is left. Can you vanquish this darkness? Will you help me find peace? Can we have second chances? Will my suffering cease? The light is black, the coming back. Must we sing far? What are you going to do? Good morning again. I better get ready for work. Oh, Robert. What am I going to tell Sadie? Tell her death is not the end. A seance? That's a wonderful idea! Oh, you never could listen to me! If David could just deliver his message, then he could finally rest. And I know just who to contact! That traveling medium, Dr. Kristoff. I need to catch him before he leaves town, and then Sadie can finally move on. Of course, I can't blame her for holding on. I never have been able to let go of you. Hey, you better not! Though there was that fling I had with Mr. Buckley when he winked at me at church. Oh, that was rich! <laughs> Am I supposed to be jealous? Oh, and by the way, no sitting in the chair today. That's for the doctor. I've sat in that chair for over 50 years. So I hear you're talking to Uncle Robert again. No, why not? He never left the house. So you tell me. Is that the young doctor? He's coming to walk me to the hospital. Oh, you look so pale. Hold still. Ow! You'll thank me later. Good morning, Sarah. Sadie. Uh, Dr. Isaac, won't you have a seat? Oh, thanks, but I can't stay. I just came by to... I polished it just for you. Surely you can sit for well, a Well, I... Moment. <laughs> Get out so... of my chair! What was that, Robert? Who's Robert? My great uncle. Am, am I missing something? I don't like this guy! Robert says he likes you. Oh, really, Robert? What's going on? Sometimes he forgets his manners. Which reminds me, will you be attending the All Hallows' Eve social tonight? <laughs> well, I do have the evening off, but I'm not much of a dancer. Wonderful. Neither is Sadie. <laughs> Goodbye, Aunt Sarah. And no one should be alone tonight. Not with all the spooks on the loose. What time should she expect you? Well, we haven't really discussed it, but I'm afraid we must be on our way. It's been a pleasure. Perhaps I'll stop by tomorrow. Oh! oh. <laughs> it's, it's nothing. I must have tripped. What? What do you mean, what? You think they're meant for each other? <laughs> no! I agree. Now, about that seance. <laughs> Sorry about Aunt Sarah. She's not exactly. Oh, she's fine. It's your Uncle Robert I'm worried about. Can't be less. 
and friendly. Sadie, you know how I feel about you and your family, but you must know that such talk is... You think we're crazy. Uh, you and I were here when he was buried in this very cemetery. Don't you believe in souls? We mustn't confuse wishful thinking with reality. Then tell me, in reality, what knocked you off that chair? I can't say. You won't say! Well, whatever it was, there must be a rational explanation. And if there's not? There must be. But supposing there's not? What? How did we end up in this cemetery? We took the scenic route, don't you remember? My attention may have been elsewhere. Isaac, my heart is still with David. Uh, of course. We were childhood sweethearts. You need not remind me. Our wedding was so close, and then... His death broke everyone's heart. I wish I could move on, but... But what? What would you say if I told you he's visited me? I would respectfully ask for evidence. I have none, but I saw what I saw. I heard what I heard. Well, our eyes and ears can deceive us. <laughs> Until we have proof, we do well to doubt our senses and trust in the mind. Do you never listen to your heart? Normally, no, but... Lately, it's been hard not to. It could never work out, you and I. I fail to see why not. Because you'll die first. What? Every man around me ends up dead. First, Uncle Robert, and then David. Neither of which were your fault. I begged Uncle Robert to put up the Christmas decorations. I was right there when he slipped and fell off the roof. And David was walking beside me when he showed the first signs of cholera. You must let go of these superstitions. <laughs> it's only a matter of time before we all end up dead. What's the point in living? Please don't talk like that. They'll be missing us at the hospital. Please, go on without me. What, what do you want to do here? I, oh, you want to spend some time I'll come with, shortly. I've been thinking about what your aunt said about the dance tonight. And I was thinking it'd be good for you and I if, if you're interested. I'll be ready at six. Six? Wonderful. I'll wear my best suit. <laughs> i 
so good at it. Would you prefer a classical moan? <laughs> a soliloquy on the bondage of time and the futility of life? <laughs> or perhaps you prefer something with modern edge, a scathing rebuke of materialism? <laughs> you know, I've always preferred your uh, silent agony. When all Hallow's Eve is upon us, our one special night, surely you jest. This is a time when spirits must unite in their misery and wail together. This calls for a group moan. <laughs> Good heavens, where is everyone? Group moan! Group moan! Please, no! First, we set the stage to a spine tingling suspense. Glimmering remnants of twilight reflect The chill of the moonlight in soft retrospect At dusk you can listen, the veil is so thin You'll hear desperation from spirit Restless immortals awaiting our fate. We look at the living with jealousy and hate. We're bound to the earth, for we fail to transcend. We long to return to our lives once again. Our spirits are broken, our bodies are dust. The cruel separation was harsh and unjust.
There, you feel better now? I feel sequestered by an endless gloom, bound by the chains of eternal woe. Yes. Are you two moping again? <laughs> Moaning. We've been over this. The worst thing we can do is sit around and kill time. We may not have flesh, we do have spirit. Do something. Eat. We're dead. We can't do anything. Oh? Not all of us have the gift. I struggle to rustle the leaves. That's because you spend all your time moping. When we were alive, our bodies commanded, our spirits commanded, and our bodies obeyed. Now there's nothing between us and the element. If anything, our power should be stronger. We just need to relearn the basics. In over 100 years, I haven't learned a thing. That's very impressive. Besides, I don't want to move rocks. I want to move on. I want to leave this accursed place. Then why don't you? Because my soul is chained. None of us are chained. We're here because we want to be here. <coughs> Who in their right mind would want to be here? If you want to leave, then leave. We're spirits. We can go anywhere in no time at all. The world is ours to explore. I am not without wholesome recreation, but I have made a point to keep a parental vigil over my progeny. Just last week, or was it last year? Ah, sometime in the last few decades, I visited my great, 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 great granddaughter. I may have missed a great. <laughs> but it was lovely to let her know I was there. I made the floorboards creak, slammed a few doors, and knocked over the spaghetti. Come to think of it, I may have frightened her. Surely we're meant to do more than scare the living. Have you ever been to Paris? I have no one to haunt there. These are my people. <laughs> Most of your people have moved on. And I long to join them as soon as I'm ready. How many more centuries is that going to take? Not many. Two or three. <laughs> what are you afraid of? Uh, for one, no one has ever passed into the great beyond, has ever returned. What if I meet God and he casts me out? Or what if there is no God? Or nothing but endless darkness? If there's anyone out there, they should come to us. Pat, in over 100 years, has anyone come for us? Well, Eve, if you're so certain of things, why haven't you moved on? I have work to do. If I'm not mistaken, You've been here since the 18th century. What could possibly be so important? You wouldn't understand. Try me. <sighs> I confess, I'm as afraid to move on as anyone. <laughs> afraid of what? Nothing. Forget it. Pat, you'll be happy to know I was just at your great-great-granddaughter's house. I may have missed a great. I have a few. Sarah, I believe. Oh, yes. Married that no good Robert. The man has no ambition. And how's my little Sadie? I, I didn't actually get to see any of them. I was about to knock on the door when my body started falling apart. Body? He means his spiritual body. What he means is it feels like he falls apart every time he visits his former life. Oh, I know what you mean. Oh, oh not again. Um, David and I need to talk. Would you two kindly moan elsewhere? I have been moaning in this bar for whoa! Wow, Eve, you're good at that. You need to watch what you say. I can't help it. It felt so good to be alive again. If you can call it that, we can't let the others know they'll want to go too. What's wrong with that? Their bodies are barely salvageable. Even yours is hardly there. I don't want to break their hearts. Oh, we don't have hearts. <sighs> you know what I mean. <sighs> Eve, I wish you could experience it for yourself. Air in the lungs, sun on the skin, wind in the hair. That does sound wonderful. <laughs> Though it wasn't like before. It was like being my own puppeteer and the puppet was falling apart. How long did you stay in? Just until sunrise. I barely made it back to the graveyard. 
before I collapsed. Why does it always stop working at sunrise? It seems the energy we energy dissipates in the daylight. One of the many mysteries I've yet to resolve. Until we find a long-term solution, you're just going to have to be patient. Speaking of which, is there any way you can send me back tonight? Tonight? It's the All Hallows Eve dance, and I... <sighs> you want to get to Sadie before Dr. Isaac does. And it would be really nice if you could make my body stay together this time. David, I've been trying to unlock the secrets of life for over a century, and you expect me to perfect it all by tonight? If you could, please. I'll try my best. That's good enough for me. But you must promise me one thing. Anything. Don't kiss her. Why not? You'll smell like death. Oh, right. Well, I better go get the old body ready. Polish the shoes, comb the hair, dust off the bugs. You're the greatest, Eve. We're restless immortals awaiting our fate. What are we doing? must be Sarah. You look even younger than you sounded over the phone. Oh, you devil. I'm afraid I can't stay. I have to catch the next train, which leaves in just a few minutes, but tell me more about your niece. She's certain her David is trying to contact her. She's so haunted she can't sleep at night. If you could just stay one more day, we could make it worth your while. I'm afraid that's out of the question. I'm needed at a severe case up north, at the Capitol building of all places. Apparently an entire regiment of dead Confederates have made their abode there, scandalizing the Republicans. But if you could give me her address, perhaps I could pay her a visit when I pass through town again? Are there any other mediums around here? <laughs> There's plenty of hobbyists, but if you're looking for a professional, I don't mean to brag, but I'm the only one. Really, please, it can't wait every time I see her standing on the porch, staring into the forest. <coughs> Hold on. Is this the woman who was engaged to a fiddler? You know her? Oh, what a profound coincidence. I believe I saw her when I first came through town. As you say, she was on her porch, and I couldn't help but overhear her talking to herself about her David and his violin. I could never forget those haunted eyes. If there's any way. You know it's not safe for her to be alone like that at night. I've tried to tell her. Especially if she's being seeing visions of a fiddler. You, of course, know the legend of old Daniel. Phantom Fiddler, I never thought! Luring his victims into the forest. No, are the stories true? I can't say. What I can say is the governor can wait. This is truly a special case. Oh, thank you. What do I owe you? Nothing. How could I ever profit from that poor woman's tragedy? Oh, speak of the devil. Here she comes. Sadie! I want you to meet Dr. Kristoff. He's going to help you contact David. Madam? Uh, do I get a say in this? Please, remember your manners. He's missing a very important appointment to help you. That's very kind, though entirely unnecessary. If David wants to get in contact with me, he'll do it in his own time and in his own way. Sadie, people are beginning to talk. Let them talk. Well, I think it's high time we put this issue to rest. Don't you agree, Dr. Isaac? If I... you'll excuse us, our patient needs to get to the hospital. Another victim of the consumption, is it? Late stage. Oh, and there's so many more like her. May I have a look? With all due respect, her well-being is a matter of science. And as your partner so aptly put it, shouldn't the woman have a say in the matter? Good madam, take my hand and gaze into my eyes. Don't try to understand. Just let me mesmerize There's power in your mind, your body, and your soul Though you are confined, I'll help you take control So let your sickness go, escape your suffering 
No more fighting and denying this your true reality. Time to rise and walk. Take comfort from the sun. Let the people talk about the source of healing power. I... I haven't seen in months. Thank you, Doctor. I'm only a medium. How, how are you feeling? Like running. I have to tell everyone about this. Wait. I'll make sure she's okay. Just what kind of trick are you trying to play with my patient? If you think that's a trick, then I too have a question for you. What good is all your science if it doesn't heal? What are your credentials, may I ask? I hold no degrees in the physical sciences, and I doubt you care for the spiritual, but since you asked, let's see. Theology, divinity, cosmological eschatology, psychophysicality, and paranormal phenomena. You? Dr. Isaac just finished medical school. Shame they don't teach about spirits anymore. I will be the first to admit my ignorance on many subjects, but I know one thing. If Sadie does not want your help, you have no right to interfere. I never work without the consent of my patients. What do you take me for? Honestly, I don't know yet. Please, Isaac, he is only trying to help. If my services are unwelcome, I can still catch the next train. No, please! Call it mumbo-jumbo if you want, but the sooner we can help Sadie, the sooner you and her can move on! I sense you have a special interest in this woman. Can't we help her together? Hey, Sadie, remember that time I died? Well, funny thing, too casual. Fear not, Sadie, it is I, David, back from the dead. <sighs> too presumptuous. Hello, Sadie, I'm back. Yeah, too creepy. Pig blood. What? I took a trip to the library. The poor room there is convinced the place is haunted. And of course she's right when I stumbled across a book called The Ancient Medicine of Seraphocles, and I quote, Blood is the life force of man, the essence of mortality. An infirm man can renew and prolong his life by drinking the pure blood of an undefiled man or beast. You asked why you collapsed in the sunrise. Surely it's because the spiritual energy we've been filling you with is so weak that it can't abide the light, just as you and I shirk from the sun. We need to rejuvenate your body with something substantial. But how? The town butcher keeps jars of pig's blood in his backyard. I'll get you there as soon as the sun sets, then drink and live. You really think it's that simple? There's another key ingredient. One all my previous experiments have lacked. Thankfully, we have it. And that is... Will! Your will is so strong, I believe you'll make it. <sighs> I don't know, Eve. This is starting to sound crazy. Of course it's crazy. But you're the one who insisted, and I'm not going to let you back out now. Not when there's so little time left before your body decays beyond repair, as mine has. What if this doesn't work? We'll make it work. I'll be with you every step of the way. It's really happening. I'm going back. For good. How can I repay you? You already have. What do you mean? <laughs> You've given me a reason to continue my work in a hope that it might not be in vain. Before you came along, I was just like all the others, moaning my afterlife away. I'm afraid I'll let you down. If Sadie doesn't want me, I'll lose my will. Of course she'll want you. You're her fiancé. I was her fiancé. She's moving on. You told me you met at this very dance. What could be more romantic than waltzing in the moonlight? We didn't actually dance last time. Somehow I managed to keep her preoccupied at the refreshment table.
but you do dance. Mm, no. Oh, dear. Who are we kidding? I'll be a walking <sighs> corpse. Just until you heal. She'll take my hand, and my hand will fall off. It will be a disaster. Not if you know the right moves. Moves? In my day, dancers hardly touch one another. It all begins with a regal bow. Then ever so delicately, the gentleman takes the lady's hand. Forward, two, three, back, two, three. Forward, two, three, back, two, three. Yes, like that. And then? You progress to small talk, beginning with a mild witticism about how lovely she looks. Your face shines like the silver lining of the moon. Wonderful. And then? I... I don't know. Why can't I just court you instead? Wrong! 3,469. Wrong. 502. Wrong. 11? That was your final guess. It was 7 million too. David, would you like to play I've Thought of a Real Good Number this time? I'm afraid I have work to do. Hey, Eve, you hear the news? There's a new arrival. Who died? Another victim of the consumption. <laughs> Rumor has it she's walking around like a lost soul. Has no one welcomed her? I thought that was your job. There she is. Hello. Am I dead? Congratulations! What is this place? Your eternal doom! No! No. It's a resting place. Can I show you around? What's the purpose of being here? To think about everything you've done wrong and regret it day after day, year after year. No, hell? no, no, it's... Yes. <sighs> Come, let me introduce you to some happier spirits. Thanks, but I could use some time alone. Okay, well, if you, ne if you need anything, I'm not going anywhere. 58,012. Wrong! Hey, what's beneath the sheet? Nothing. Why do I get the impression you two are hiding something? Come to think of it, I heard a rumor about some uh, grave digging. Grave digging. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you, Eve? Has anyone seen a... Oh, never mind. What's David doing with a body? A body with eyeballs, no less! <laughs> oh, good heavens, is it the new girls? Of course not. Well, no one else has died lately, but... David? If I didn't know any better, I would suspect him of attempting a Daniel Bynes. A what? You've never heard of old Daniel? The Phantom Fiddler? The cautionary tale for wandering spirits and foolish mortals that I like? I have no time for such nonsense. I think it's time for a story. Sleep. Revenge was his goal. Spent his afterlife dreaming of an attack until he discovered a way to come back. He entered his body a mere sack of bones and struggled to walk to his murderous home. The door was unlocked and pushed with a grin. And search the hallways and bedrooms within. A life for a life, he pulled out his knife. Daniel took to ride up the stairs up to where he did his terrible deed. Rowing off the sheets, Dan searched for the stain. But the bed was empty, his thrust was in vain. Day 
after day he returned to the grave. Corrupted in body, corrupted in soul. Driven hatred beyond control. At last he found his murderer's bed. Lying peacefully underneath the flower tree. The man was already dead. By night he would rise. His lustful blood, as cold as his breath, brought many others to their deaths. For needing to kill, his craving to fill, the demon of the night, the harbinger of bright, the lust in the shadows, wished for the gallows. Then your fates will try, try and try, but never die. Best for never. Body spirit was never meant to reunite with corrupted flesh. It corrupts the soul. They say old Daniel still wanders to this day, unable to rest. I would hate for David to suffer the same fight. It's just a folk tale. Oh, David can't really come back. Can he? Eve. I... I know you've been studying something over these centuries, and it reeks of the unsupernatural. All right, all right. I've been helping David come back. But can you blame me? In all my years, I've never seen a more broken-hearted spirit. Shame on you for meddling in powers beyond any of us. Can you send me back too? Jesse! If you promise to keep quiet, I will see what I can do. Pat. Oh, not for you. Not for David. But for the sake of my great-great-great-granddaughter Sadie. I may have missed a great. Your secret's safe with me. Come to think of it, I have a family reunion I need to attend. Funny. So do I. Goodbye! Oh, dear. Are they gone? The secret is out. Fine. Let everyone know that love will conquer death. Is it really worth it when there's so much risk? You don't believe that nonsense, do you? I don't know what to believe. What about the risks of staying in the soul-sucking place? Would you rather I end up like Pat and Jesse? Or you? I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. It needed to be said. Why don't you come with me? Uh, we've been over this. My body- Take the new girl, she won't be needing <sighs> no, anymore. No, David, that's not what I want. Then move on. Surely there's a better world waiting for you just as there is for me. I'm going back with or without your help. Love will find a way. And if love lets you down? What do you mean? Many, many years ago, I was engaged to a young officer in the Continental Army. Andrew. We were childhood sweethearts. So when I received the news that he was killed, I was devastated. To distract myself from the pain I took to reading, Philosophy, religion, spiritualism, medicine, chemistry, hoping against hope I could find some way to bring him back. I seldom ate or slept as obsession turned to illness. In the end, it was the death of me. Having been true to Andrew to the end, I hoped to find him waiting for me on the other side. I was so naive. He'd long since found someone else and moved on. And wherever it was they were, I didn't want to be there, so I stayed here and continued my work. How could you endure so many years of this? You're still young. You don't know how time can mean nothing at all, especially when your mind is in a rut. Plus, here, on the other side, we could see what we couldn't before. The energy, the possibilities, that makes all the difference. I'm sorry for your loss. I truly am. 
But my situation is different. Deep down, I know Sadie still longs for me. What if we've been looking too high and too low when happiness is right in front of us? What do you mean? What if we were to just forget it all and, and move on? You and I, together. When we're so close to our dream? You're right. I'm sorry. The spirits need me here. I need you. Come with me. Calling a glorious view There are no ends You've proved there's always a way A burning within you A fight to continue A conquered grave your help. But I could bring you peace, both of you. Why won't you give the doctor? 
chance. I have a bad feeling about this. Then I'll go. Supposing I were to say yes, how would it work? Simple. We go to the graveyard, I call for David, and if he's there, he'll talk to you. What button? I'll get my jacket. <laughs> I'm afraid it will just be Sadie and I. Communing with spirits requires absolute concentration, and as such, we must limit attendance. Which reminds me, I just need you to sign here a little pledge that you will honor the doctor-patient relationship as I guide you through the spiritual frontier. My attorney makes me do it. You'd be amazed at the number of malpractice lawsuits going on these days, even against charitable workers like myself. What's in the fine print? Nothing of any interest, I assure you. You're welcome to read it. He has nothing to gain and you have nothing to lose. Oh, really, Robert? What the devil? Um, can you give me more time? It seems I need to talk it over with my uncle first. Time is of the essence, but very well. Good day. Damn. Ah, Dr. Isaac, you're looking sharp. Any luck with Sadie? You can lead a horse to the water, but you can't make her drink. That's what I expect. So what now? Well, being as I have another night here in town, might as well look for some pretty dames at the social tonight. Heaven knows my line of work is lonely. Dr. Christoph, there's something I've been meaning to talk with you about. Yes? I've been thinking about what you did to my patient and something I experienced at this very home. A ghostly presence? Yes, how did you... Never mind. <laughs> of course you knew. And that's just it. I surely came across as closed-minded today, for which I apologize. There's so much that we, or at least I, don't understand. And to deny it simply because it doesn't fit into my worldview is unscientific, not to mention dishonest. A commendable declaration. And having heard that, there is something I wish to confide in you as well. All I ask is that you retain an open mind. I'm listening. I fear there may be more going on with Sadie's case than meets the eye. That there may be evil forces at work. If it comes to it, I want to know whether or not I can count on you as a friend to assist me. You know I have my doubts, but... Yes, of course. If it truly helps Sadie, you have my full support. I knew I could count on you. Let's just hope my premonitions are wrong. Good evening. Good evening. That's strange, the door just... I'm sorry about that. As you know, Uncle Robert can be less than friendly. I'll see you next night, and remember, don't come home until we kiss you. <sighs> I mean, the wind can cause doors to open and close. Must we discuss this again? You look nice. As do you. Shall we go? I know this is a big step for you. Are you sure you're ready? Are you getting cold feet? <laughs> uh, honestly, I'm a little jealous. Jealous? Yeah, I'm afraid you might leave me for a ghost. <laughs> and you're not amused. I wasn't dreaming when David came back to me. I know what I saw, and to deny what I felt would be... Dishonest? Yes. You're right, I'm not ready. What's wrong? Uh, I, I forgot to put up my laundry. If I don't do it now, it'll be a big stinky mess. I'll come help you. No, no, not with my undergarments. Please, just go on ahead and I'll meet you as soon as I can. Not again. I promise. 20 minutes? 30 max. David, it all began one year ago. Will you hate me for moving on? Thank you.
Is this close enough? It's too close. The last thing we need is for someone to discover your corpse. Let's just do this. We're running out of time. You could at least try to be grateful. I'm not exactly getting anything out of this. What did I say? Maybe it's what you haven't said. What's that supposed to mean? Just lie down. If this works, I suppose this is goodbye. So it is. As soon as you rise, go straight for that. The butchers. You need that blood. Got it. Anything else? No. You? Nothing comes to mind. Come, thick darkness. Touch his restless soul. Move his heart and feel his veins. Give him control. I'll be fine from here. You can go home now. <laughs> no, I can't. Thank you, Eve. I love you, you know. Sometimes I lie awake while his voice calls you through the Where are you? The pig's blood does nothing. I saw. I'm working on a solution. I don't know why I'm shouting and he can't hear me in that body. My right arm is coming loose and I can barely walk. I don't think my heart is beating. This is too hard. Try raising the dead sometime. Hurry, Eve. Sadie's in trouble. Ah, uh, what was it called? <gasps> ah! Spiritual resuscitation via cardiopulmonary resuscitation. I remember now. There she is! Eve, is it true you sent David back? Uh, what gave you that idea? Can you send me back too? Uh... Hold on! She's gonna send me back first. Please, I must go back. My children need me. I'll do anything. Just give me a second. We tried to keep it a secret! No, we didn't. Oh, won't you save us from this? 
to unbury your body if there's anything left of it get started with that and i'll meet you at your gravestones but first there's something i must take care of <laughs> who cares if it's unsupernatural this is gonna be the best all hell's eve ever <laughs> david where are you i'm coming you here. This is madness. Isaac, Isaac, I saw him again. I saw David. But then, who was that other man? I, I was about to do something terrible. Well, no matter what you think happened, everything's all right now. Come, let's get you away from this terrible place. Eve, where are you? You said you'd be here for me. My temper 
just dropping, my pulse slowing down. My elbows are creaking, my eyes are glazing over, and I'm trying to please both the girls in my mind. But everything's breaking, I just need more time. Oh, Weave, did I hurt you? I know this is hard. Don't mean to desert you, but I just don't belong within your world of shadows. I'm meant for the light. When Sadie is calling, how can I throw my dream away and stifle my heart, torture my heart? Sadie, tell me, why do you run away when I've tried so hard to leave the graveyard? I know I'm smelly, but I'm sure you've dealt with worse. I thought love was unconditional What's a little death compared to all eternity? I know it's a bit untraditional But you and I can work it out and keep the fire burning A wearier traveler I never have seen Friend, won't you tell me, how can I lift your spirit? I'm Professor J. Christoph, the master of thought. The cure to your ailments can surely be taught. My problems are bigger than tricks of the mind. Your physical symptoms merely are extensions of the fallacy spinning in circles within. Give me your mind and I'll fix you from the inside till there's nothing to fear. Doctor is near You could never understand the pain I'm going through You're trapped between worlds, caught between girls I could give you everything you want and more You long just to live in a yesterday Well I can show you how to live like there is no tomorrow Just sign to enroll as a patient in my therapeutic practice To relinquish all your sorrow It's called a new sorrow my friend, I am versed in the spiritual arts Yes, I have the power to keep you alive Choose me as your doctor or you'll never survive How did you do that? You're dealing with more than you comprehend What you need is a mentor What is your price? No sacrifice Helping wandering souls is its own reward once you have signed, unguard your mind Your permission will allow me to control you I'll move through to the soul And the easy part is fixing up the body Till you're running good as new There must be another way I can't give away the one thing I'm still holding on to I know who you are, David I'm the one man in this world who can help you. I beg of you, let me heal you now. You can stay in full control. Just let me stand by to make sure everything's all right. If something should go wrong, you'll be needing my assistance and we'll then move forward with the contract. Call it a trial period. Stay well until, shall we say, midnight? And then I'll leave you alone. But how do I know I can trust you? You can't trust me. So by all means, stagger off to your girl like a three-legged dog and sweep her into your leprous arms. You'll heal me now, and if I just stay alive until midnight... Then you'll remain so for the rest of your days. And if I can't do it? Then, as one who cannot help himself, you bequeath your will to me, and I shall see to your needs. David, I'm sorry. I tried to come earlier, but... Do you hear someone? No. Forget it. Suppose I change my mind and want to give up my body of my own free will. Why would you want to do that? Will I be able to? Fine. If you change your mind before midnight, you're free to go. I swear it. Do you think I'm trying to trick you? <gasps> David, no! Done and done. Now, hold still. Thank you. There's only one part left. Roll up your sleeve. This will hurt a lot. Yeah. Ow. Oh. What is that for? It's the source of your power. Trust me, you'll need it. Now go in your girl back 
And Godspeed, my friend. What have you done? Eve, we're waiting. <sighs> Coming. And next, we have Mr. and Mrs. Buckley as Count Dracula and Medusa. And next, we have Isaac and Sarah as Dr. Frankenstein and I'm assuming the monster's wife. And last and certainly not least, our own dazzling and sensational Sarah as the Queen of England. <clears throat> Don't forget the king! And apparently Robert's here too. And now, let the festivities begin. And we'll entertain ourselves with a rousing game of Pass the Monkey Head. And once we've thoroughly intoxicated ourselves on my homemade brew, we'll dance before the moon. For those not wishing to debauch themselves, I remind you that All Hallows' Eve was intended to be a holy night, a time to reflect upon our dearly departed in the wholesome spirit of the harvest. Let us keep a prayer in our hearts and refrain from any devilishness. <laughs> Nothing to see here, folks. Just us common mortals. <laughs> what wonderful costumes. I'm sorry, Vern, but you've been demoted to second place. <laughs> Finally, the respect I deserve. <laughs> they fit right in. How terribly boring. Any sign of David? Perhaps he wisened up. He is never going to win a girl like that. Well, apparently we have one more introduction. Oh, and dressed as himself, David Pickett. I what? must have read that wrong. David? <gasps> David? <laughs> this night just keeps getting better and better. Is it really you?
funeral. So was I. I know. It's a long story, and I'll explain everything in time. I promise. But for now, will you just accept that I'm back? <laughs> it's a Halloween miracle. <laughs> Yes, 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 I'm real. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like a moment with my fiance. Hold on. If you're really David Pickett, let's hear some of that famous fiddle playing of yours. I really don't have time for that. What's the matter? Lost your touch? You don't have to prove anything. Come on. Does anyone have a fiddle? Well done, my friend. Well, Dr. Isaac, it appears that you've been cheated. Indeed. What are you going to do? What can I do? They were engaged. You're just going to accept this unexplained phenomenon? Are you sure that's rational? What's rational? He was dead. Are you suggesting we're witnessing something supernatural? I don't know. I mean, you tell me. Until we have more information, we must reserve judgment. <laughs> That's Dr. Isaac speaking. But supposing David's return were indeed outside the bounds of science, that it was unnatural, perhaps even unholy, how would Isaac the man feel? I suppose I wouldn't trust him with Sadie. I don't trust him either. I fear my premonition was correct, and there are indeed evil forces afoot. Will you stand by me as you pledged? I, this is too much. Give me some time. This drama is killing me! <laughs> no, Jessie! She's not your type! Good evening, madam. You can see me. I'm well versed in the spiritual arts. May I have this dance? I'm a spirit. You're mortal. Are you sure about that? Trust me, it'll work just fine. How is this possible? Correct me if I'm wrong, but you look like a lost soul. <laughs> you could say that. I believe you are the missing piece of the puzzle. I saw you in the graveyard. You helped David, didn't you? I... You can confide in me. 
I'm one of the few people who can appreciate what you've accomplished. Though I must say, David turned out quite a bit better than those others. Why is that? I think you know. You did something to David. Who are you? I'm no one special. You're the miracle worker. In fact, I only know of one other soul who's pulled off such a feat. They call him Old Daniel. I've heard the legend. Old Daniel is very real, and he keeps his secret closely guarded. The fact that you figured it out by yourself is remarkable. Or did those others help you? No, it was all me. And it took a very long time, which as you can see, I'm still working on. About that. Dr. Crystal, who are you talking to? A spirit, mind your own business. Hello, Robert. So it's Eve, is it? A fitting name for one who gives life. Have you never dreamed of coming back yourself? It's too late for me. With all due respect, you're dead wrong. Yes, yes, pun intended. You could have endless life and true power. Power that doesn't fade with the daylight. You can bring me back. You could bring yourself back. All you lack is the secret of old Daniel. You know it. Hmm. You clearly know about the life force that fills the air. But you know where it comes from. Tell me. Death. What? When a living thing gives off its final breath, its physical energy falls to the earth, and its spiritual energy rises into the air. Only through death is there life. It's best to obtain it straight from the source. That is, in order to give life, you must first take it. You mean? That is how old Daniel survives the daylight, and why he kills. Not because he's trapped between worlds or any such nonsense, but in order to maintain immortality. Of course, only a powerful spirit can do it. Someone like you. I... See that woman over there? Sadie. She's all that stands between you and your David. I... Don't try to hide it. I've seen how you've been watching him. I know how you can influence the world around you. Take her by the throat. You know there's no sin in this. You know that death is not the end, so let her move on. Then you can possess her body, and her happiness will be yours. I could never. She doesn't deserve him. She doesn't even want him. She's given her heart to another. Whereas you, your time has come for a new life.
would be the causation. Can I trust in this lie? There is no explanation. Can we come back when we die? Are you but an illusion? Are you real as you see? Can we have second chances? Will we wake from this dream? I saw you in the graveyard with that man. Isaac? No, the other one. Who was he? I don't know. At first I thought he was you. What did he want? I wish I knew. He frightens me. Whoever he was, I won't let him hurt you. It's in the past now. Let's not dwell on it. But supposing he... So, what are we to do now that you're back? Now we pretend like nothing happened and pick up where we left off. What if it's more complicated than that? Because of Isaac. How could I have known? Do you love him? I don't know. I'll need some time. How much time? A few days. I don't have a few days. What? I can't tell you why, but I need to know before midnight. Are you going to hog him all night? Some of us would like a turn with the prodigal son. Where's my apple pie? Well, are you ready to keep your commitment? What must I do? If he's truly of the devil, he'll bear the mark of old Daniel. Old Daniel? One who's neither alive nor dead, but has given himself to the powers of darkness. The devil brands his servants as men brand cattle. There's always a mark. What kind of mark? Why do you have it? In order to fool evil spirits. It's not real, it rubs right off. But this isn't about me, it's about David. And if I see it? I recommend this. It's no sin when wielded against evil. In fact, it's a duty. No, I, I can't do this. Oh, please, Dr. For the sake of the children! Are you a man or not? Protect your lady, and God be with you. Dr. Kristoff, something's happened to Daisy. All oh, the consumption has returned and it's worse than before. What this woman has is no mere disease, but a case of possession. This kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting. Come, I will see to your needs. She is my patient. Perhaps I should. You worry about your task at hand. Shall we dance another? Oh, no, you don't. I'm next in line. I'm afraid I have business to take care of. Please excuse me. What's going on? Why can't I? Eve, is that you? Who else would look after you? Shake the branch for yes. I see. If you'll kindly let me pass, I'm ready to leave this place. 
Oh, no, you don't. We went to all this trouble to get your girl back. Now go get her. <laughs> what, do you think I'm giving up? She's given up on me. She has to think about it. This isn't what I was expecting. Just go back there and win her over like you did me. Eve, I'm ready to leave. I was happy or dead. Don't say that. And it's killing me not being able to see you. Really? There's a major problem with our plan. What's that? How much I miss you. Oh, David. I'm sorry I left you hanging, but I've made up my mind. Yes, I do want to marry you. You do? It's time to move on. You're telling me. Sadie, tonight has been a dream come true. So many thoughts and feelings, it's overwhelming. In one sense, it's frightening, but in another sense, I wish it could last forever. Have you ever climbed a mountain, dying to see what was on the other side? And you realized it was just more of what you already knew? What are you getting at? Sometimes we want something so badly, we're blind to what's right in front of us. David? This is the hardest thing I've ever done. I need to say goodbye. What? You're leaving me again? It's not that I don't love you. In this world, you were my life. And for that, you will always hold a place in my heart. This may be hard to understand, but I don't belong in this world anymore. Stop talking like that! You just got here! Why are you doing this? Sadie, do you love me? How could you ask? Then please let me go. Excuse me. Oh, Isaac, I'm so sorry. I... Oh, you don't need to apologize. I just came to congratulate David on his return. Thank you, my friend. I, uh, I, I heard you died of cholera. I'm sorry. Now is not a good time. Uh, cholera can cause damage to the skin, but your skin looks fine. Just so people will believe me, would you mind rolling up your sleeve? Fascinating. And, and how about the other one? Another time, perhaps. I really must be going. Where are you going? It's best that you not follow. Stop talking like that! I won't let you go! Life is incredible and exciting. More than I realized before. I want the two of you to enjoy every moment together. David! Goodbye, Sadie. Please. This is hard enough already. I won't let you go! <sighs> All right, you can come with me to the graveyard, but then we must part. Why the graveyard? You wouldn't understand. Wherever you go, I'm coming too. I would also like to come. No, you must stay. Please, Isaac, leave us. No, you leave us. Isaac, what are you doing? Leave him alone! <gasps> come on, Jesse! Give him a good one right in the jaw! No, no. Look at the way these things move! They're no costumes! They're unholy beings! Yes! David! No! Let me help you! This man must be taken care of immediately! Friends, help me lift him! Where are you taking him? Somewhere safe! He needs to get to the hospital! There's more to David's case than meets the eye! He'll need special attention! I don't trust you! That's your problem! You! Seize her! David! And you! You are in way over your head! Let. Her. Go! Back, demon! Will you help me? David is our friend! Come on! Well, I got nothing better to do. That makes two of us! What fun this is! Oh, I'm coming, David! No one ever remembers to wait for the little old lady. Purpose? Now leave. Why aren't you dead yet? Die already! That idiot Eve must have slowed the bleeding. I'd kill you myself, but that would be a breach of our contract, wouldn't it? Why? Why? 
What do you think you signed away? Your soul, of course! It's the only thing you have of any value. You had your night of fun, now it's time to pay! Not only do I have to kill to stay alive, I have to bring another soul to my master every All Hallows Eve. I have to bargain for my own soul. Master? The ruler of this world, the Prince of Darkness, I'm sure you've heard of him. He's very particular about his deadlines, which is why I have no choice in the matter. I don't enjoy this any more than you do. All right, that's a lie. The soul conning business certainly has its moments. I mean, any halfwit can take a life, but to take the soul with it, that is an art. I mean, unlike my power, which is here today, gone tomorrow, a soul is an eternal thing. It must be given. Why, my soul? I tried relentlessly to win your girlfriend, Sadie. Then I went after your spirit girl, Eve, you little two-timer. I really wanted her soul, but you're the only one I could snatch. Don't take it personally. As a fellow fiddler and as one cheater of death to another, I actually like you, which I can't say of all my victims. I leave of my own free will. <laughs> About that, there's no escape clause. That was another lie. As soon as you die, you're mine. So get on with it already! If I don't deliver by tonight, things will get ugly! Your story ended fast, a tragedy indeed. It wasn't meant to last, and now we must proceed. You're grasping onto life, but there's no hope for you. The bullet's wound is deep, there's nothing left to do. So let your spirit go, escape your suffering Why bother fighting and denying obvious reality? You planned for my demise, you knew that all along Why wait another hour, there's no good reason to prolong Leave it alone! It's your doctor who did the damage! We're taking him to the hospital, you monster! Such harsh words for a lover! Don't you recognize me, darling? I'm your beloved man on the hill when I first came to this town, I saw you on your porch. Heard you talking about your David and his violin. You seem like such easy prey. Face it, I'm the one you really want. Uh. Is this what our relationship has come to? Pity. But then, I could use your life force. You stay away from her. You leave my great-great-great-granddaughter alone. I may have missed great. I can kill you all if you'd like. But then, are you sure you're ready to take on one who's neither alive nor dead? One who's given himself to the powers of darkness. You're old Daniel. I've had many names, and those who learn them don't live to tell the tale. Don't worry about me, go help David. By all means, I'm sure he'd prefer to die in your embrace. Come on, Jesse! I'm betting five bucks on you! See you three in a bit! Before you lead him down, I have an offering. Take my soul and set, I'll give up everything. You make a tempting deal, you are a worthy trade. Give to me your hand. He will stay, I will go, I'll follow your command. Down we go, down we go, this way where my master waits. He'll get your blind submission and I'll get a great commission. David, don't leave me, I'm here. Please forgive your friend, he was deceived. As was I, now I'm at my end. No! No! Lingering remnants of twilight reflect The chill of the moonlight in soft retrospect At dusk you can listen, the veil is so thin You'll hear desperation from spirits within. Our spirits are broken, our bodies are dust. The cruel separation was harsh and unjust. 
Hope is unheard of and dreams do no good. We'd go to the light if we only could. We're coming to the gate, just follow down this path. Passing over here, there's no returning back You good for nothing liar, you failed to keep the deal And I refuse to go with you Your promise cannot be repealed I won't budge, we'll have to fight If you insist, I let him live one minute more Our contract still persists Down we go, down we go, this way where my master waits Get your blind submission and I'll get a great commission David, I'm sorry your life Take me too. What? I was happy once on Earth. I thought I could be happy again if I made my life the way it was before. But it wasn't my life anymore. My life is here, with you. That's very touching, but if you'll excuse me, I have a deadline. <laughs> have you brought your payment? Yes, take her away. <laughs> and tell Master she's a gifted one, with ten regular souls. Please, I just want to be with Eve. Why you are you doing this? You would throw away your soul? Eve, it doesn't matter what they do to us. Because an afterlife without you would be hell, even in heaven. But to be with you would be heaven. Even in hell, fine. Take them both. And make sure to separate them. <laughs> I'll wait here for my commission. Whew. I thought I'd never be through with them. This here is where your paths part. You will never see each other again. Oh, David, just knowing you're here with me, however far apart, makes everything bearable. Do you have any idea what it's like to be a slave for all eternity? It'll be misery, agony, endless woe. None of that matters. Eve, I would never let you face that alone. Nor I you. We'll find each other again, no matter how long it takes. There's a new life waiting, waiting for, for me, waiting, waiting for, for you. you. Do you have any other souls? What's wrong with these ones? They're too pure. They have no fear. How are we supposed to control them? Just give them some time. <laughs> You're running out of time. Fine, all right? Um, I've been working on two other souls. Give me a moment and you can have them all. Hurry. Proposition. You stay away from us. Now, I know you have no reason to trust me, but hear me out. Take one more step and I will bash your brains in. No, I'm not going to let another man die because of me. You can go first if you'd like. He was a bad doctor. Sarah? <laughs> Call me Aunt Sarah. Don't forget about me. You did good, my boy. I love a happy ending. 
I agree. I love a good tragedy. Yeah. Oh dear. Where is our soul? Gentlemen, just give me a moment to find a new body and then, um... You are out of time. Uh, we'll take his soul. <laughs> no, please, 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 I beg of you! Give me another chance, please! No! No! Hey, maybe we could be agents of the devil. That could be fun. So, Sadie, did David tell you everything he needed to say? Sadie. Sadie? What are you looking at? Love him with all your heart. Never let him go. Oh, David, I will. I don't know what happened, but I'll take it. I'll be over here moaning. Oh, not again. There's a new light waiting for me, waiting for you. A curtain is falling, a destiny calling, a glorious view. There are no ends. Your proof there's always a way. A burning within you, a fight to continue, a conquered prey. Go to the light. Thank you.